hello guys welcome to solving solutions to your one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to show you how to select features using um, on arcgis right good so we are going to show you different methods with which you can actually select your features on what on them um, on arcgis so what we've just done is that um, this is the administrative boundary of Nigeria that is already labeled. So we want to um, select some of the features here and then extract them or maybe export them separately. And then we are going to use different methods, right? Good. So the first method is to use what? This um, select features option. You click on the select features and then you now over your mouse around what your source polygon and then maybe you select what the different features that you have there right good so you can see at each point you can select what the different features right good now this is actually very interactive and then a bit easier let's um, open the attribute table and then let's also see this word clear selection now having done that you can still use what the drop down and then maybe um select by maybe rectangle right that's the default now we can say select by polygon you see so whatever the extent of the polygon is will be it will be selected so we can just decide to draw another polygon somewhere around there and then You can see now it has been selected right good so the same thing maybe you can use what select by line so if you draw a line from here down to good you can see it has been selected so this is another interactive way of what of selecting features on what on um on Axios. However, you can still use them um, other methods. Let's um, clear selected features. Now you can see other methods. The other method you can use is to use what the um, the attribute table. Now, if per adventure you can't maybe see all of your features maybe being displayed here on your screen because we are able to see this because of the data set is um, relatively small. So if you now know that okay on your attributes table you can select via your attributes table, you just um, open the attributes table, then you come down to select by what by attributes, right? Good. So now under this um, select by attributes, you can decide to create an expression. The expression will now help you to select the feature you are maybe you want so let's look at a particular field here let's say we are trying to select under the name underscore one we are trying to select um, one of the states so let's say we are trying to select um, all your states so we click on the what on the field the field is what name underscore one then we say name underscore one that is equal to you know we can decide to type or your year however we can just also get all the unique values that are under name underscore one so when you click on this and um, get unique values all of the fields or let's say all of the properties that are under name underscore one will be here then we can decide to what click on our oil right good so we now see what name underscore one equal to oil remember this word quote because we are working with what text right good so that's actually a string so now before we proceed we can verify if this particular expression is valid so we just click on what verify good the expression was um, successfully verified then if it's verified we can just what them um, apply that so when we apply it if we look, walk through maybe scroll through what the attributes table we are going to see what that um, particular feature has been what has been selected automatically and then if we also come to the what the map canvas we can see what oil has been selected so basically we've shown you how to use what this um, select feature option where you can see different options with which you can select and then we've also shown you how to use what the attributes table of that particular feature to what to select by to select by attributes right good so 
we can still clear the selection that we have made right good so you can select by attributes and then you can also clear the selection now i haven't shown you all of those methods of um, selecting let's now see how to just um, export the selected feature and then try to let me zoom this to layer let's see how to just export what the selected feature so we right click on this um, layer then we come to data then we click on what export data good now under the data export window you can see export what it's asking us are we exporting all of the features or the selected features alone so we are going to export what the selected features and then the output what feature class where do we want to save it we click on browse good so you actually what connect to your folder of um, choice then um, under this particular folder let's um, call this um, or your right good so let's call this oil then you can see the file type is what's um, dot shp which is what a shape file so we want to save it as a what as a shape file then we now click on save and then okay now do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer yes good so now you now see that um let's also change this um let's make it um no color then let's make this one then the outline color let's make it um red okay good so now you see what it has been highlighted here because it has been selected let's now clear the selection you will now see that we have the administrative boundary of um, nigeria inside which we have selected oil and then the selection has now been added to what our map layer and then it's given what a different term um, outline color so if we put out this our composite um, map we can actually see that of what that of um, oil um, being let's use what name underscore one and then let's use um, times new roman and then i think the color is still okay let's apply and then let's click on okay so okay we did not actually show the label good so the label is being shown now so you now see the administrative boundary of nigeria and then we have actually clipped out or maybe exported or selected that of oil and then you can see it what's being displayed somewhere around here so basically we've shown you how to use what or how to select features using different uh, methods in what in actually and also how to export what those um, selected features from what from what from actually so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular solving gis related problem we are going to see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye